next guest is a talented actor who you know from films such as Mudbound, Chappaquiddick, and Zero Dark Thirty. You can catch him in the highly anticipated series Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, premiering March 6th on HBO and streaming on HBO Max. Let's take a look. You know what? Cook sent me out there to be his star, too. Got me to sell his tickets. And every year we lost, he still cashed his checks. But I'm the one that's got to live with it. I'm the one that's got to have the nightmares of these Boston Irish mother the on the floor. Score, the always hustling, always chasing Jerry West with a final tally that was heartbreaking. Do you think I like that? A series that could have truly gone either way. I can still smell the halitosis. You get any idea what that's like? Please welcome back to the show, Jason Clark, everybody. I tell you what, I'm keeping up the sartorial standard here on yeah, the show. Yeah, you really are. I mean, you're setting huh? a way higher bar than the rest of us. <laughs> no, I saw Oliver out there. I thought I should have come '90s Australian plumber, and I came. <laughs> I did. I did '70s Italian industrialist. <laughs> yeah, it really. Yeah, you I'm do look like, my... like there's like a shipping magnate vibe to you. It's really yeah. nice. Cashmere socks, Seth. Really? Yeah. Cashmere <laughs> socks. You didn't get the memo that we're slumming it these <laughs> no, days. No. I, no. I yeah. should have done that. I should have put the Blunstons on and the RMs, eh? You, uh, I would ask, because one of the most fun parts, I would imagine, about playing this era Jerry West on the show is the sort of sartorial choices he made in the 80s. It's yeah. a fun... The look of the show yeah. is sort of all the, the joyful colors of that. Uh, this is... Uh, that's real Jerry West. They really... You did a good job there. Dude, no, they did. They bought... Because he was into Missoni sweaters. Uh-huh. And they bought these beautiful Missoni knits off of eBay. You, you know, resellers that were original from the period. It was, I mean, everyone had their style. Big white feather coats going on. I mean, yeah. this, I mean it's magic mother <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> yeah. And it's a really, it's a fantastic cast. Do you, yeah. did you know much? I mean, obviously you grew up in Australia. Did you know much about the 80s Lakers? Do you ever go to the Lakers games now? Yeah, I went last night with John Riley. All right, look yeah. at that. John C. Yeah, Riley, no. who's, uh, who's fantastic yeah. in this as well. It's a lot of love, John. He really does. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. He gets a lot of love. Um, it was funny, because it was a bad, the Lakers played terribly. Yeah. Um, I mean, no, terribly. Mike Tyson left at, at, at half time. Yeah. Um, and it was because I was there with John and, and you know, young Quincy, who's playing Magic, and, and yeah. Devon, who's Norm Nixon's son. And uh, yeah. they got their butts kicked. Yeah. That's not good. You guys are a jinx. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, but I didn't, you know, the, the biggest thing I knew was when Magic was diagnosed HIV positive, which is where our show kind of ends when, in the flashback at the beginning. And then he played in Barcelona at the Olympics. Yeah. And it went all... And in Australia, we had these ads with the Grim Reaper for AIDS bowling the ball down, and, you know, it was very doom and gloom, and, you know, maybe rightly so, but... But it was... There he was, you know, six foot ten of him playing, you know, with the dream team, and, and everyone was playing with him, you know, and, and, and he was living with it. And it was like, oh, wow, there's, you know, there's, there's, there's another world out there as well, which is, you know, it was one of those things that, even in Australia... A little old country boy from Australia went, look at this dude, man. Yeah. Look at him. And you are really a, a country uh, boy from Australia. Your dad yeah. was a, a sheep shearer, is that? Yes, he was. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That yeah. sounds like, a, <laughs> you know, like the punchline of a joke about somebody. <laughs> Does he, did he think that acting was a, a noble profession? Like, how does somebody... <laughs> oh, I was the butt of a lot of jokes in my <laughs> wide-arranging family for a long time. Yeah. Like, how yeah. do you even, how did you even approach to him that this was going to be a path you wanted your life to take? You know, it was kind of like, I mean, my dad is, a, is the loveliest, gentlest man who had a very rough upbringing. He just didn't know that it was a path. Yeah. He didn't know that it was a profession. You know, it wasn't, you know, it was like, I was doing an interview with Australia. Australia's a very different, I mean, it's, it's you know, it, the Australian interview the other day was saying, oh, you're playing Jerry West, you know, and... All the other guys, the Americans on the panel are going, wow, you know, Jerry, and she goes, you look like Frankie J. Holden. <laughs> and nobody would know who Frankie J. Holden is. He's this Australian actor from the 70s. <laughs> but it's, it's always taking it back to that, <laughs> that small time. How does this relate to Australia? So my father had no idea, you know, that, that being actor, an actor was a profession and it's something you could do. Like, once you took uh, that path and once you sort of met with some success, was, was he happy for you? Was he excited? Yeah, he's a big golfer, and I've gotten him on some golf courses. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so it's, no, a real, it's a real quick throw <laughs> situation. Yeah. No, it was, because you know, Jerry West was a big golfer as well. He, yeah. he, was a, he actually held the back nine record, I think, at, um, at Bel Air. 
And the, the pictures that my father loved the best when I'd send him, you know, was was in the 80s golf gear, you know? Yeah. And they, I mean, the colours were just magnificent. The tight, checked <laughs> pants, you know, the white shoes and the socks. I mean, they and the, you know, the big gold watches and the, and, the, and the ring, of course, his one ring. And you also, I should note, uh, there are some flashbacks when you got to play Jerry West, the yeah. basketball player, not yeah. the executive. In the tight shorts. Yeah, well, that's yeah. my question. Yeah. I, mean, I worked my buns for a long time, dude. Yeah. No, dude. We it, well, it shows up. I just want to tip my cap. You, you know, <laughs> the work you put no, in pays it's off. It's funny enough because I have very bandy legs. My legs are very bowed. Yeah. And um, it's because my father said he grew up on a horse, so I must have come out the same way. You know, I was like. <laughs> Because yeah. he was a, before he was a shearer, he was a drover as a young as a you know as a young boy to drove cattle across Australia at like seven and eight. Um, they make but, you drive cattle. Well, and... he did. Yeah, just, just some tough, some tough love. Okay, gotcha. Got an orange for Christmas, dude. <laughs> Between eight of them. I mean, that's the thing. That's a fact. He did. He used to tell us we got a, I got a, we got an orange for Christmas. There was eight of us. I can't um, believe, by the way, <laughs> when, like you can never complain about work to him. You can't be like, oh my god, we had a fourteen-hour day on set. No, He's I didn't. Like, I but got I, an orange. But I, did, <laughs> <laughs> but I did send him a picture of me and you know the gear, the you know the knitted top and the shorts and all. That. And all him and Mum pointed out and laughed. It was my bandy legs. Oh, we showed everyone, Jason. <laughs> well, I said not to show anybody because it doesn't come. <laughs> but you know, yeah, they looked at those legs, you know. Yep. And I thought, well, what about my upper torso? Didn't I look muscly? No, that's no, what that's no, no. parents bandy will legs, often yeah. find. Yeah. The, well, they're, they, maybe he's just proud that you have his bandy legs, and he, he just went. You know what, says? I think he is. Yeah. He is. I do, ho I do hope my sons don't have them, though. Yeah. You know? It's is like... it too early to tell if your sons have your legs? Because I know one of my kids has my legs, 100%. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> my youngest has got my, my hands, my short, stubbly, uh -huh. you know, working man hands. My, my oldest has got my, my wife's longer gotcha. piano playing fingers. <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. I but think. I think they've done a personality swap. The, oh, so the, know, the one, one looks like me, but is my mother, is, is his mother, and one looks like my wife, but is me. That's great. So I feel like that's crazy. the most fun possible outcome. Yeah. yeah it's like, dude, what are you? <laughs> you I, I, we're doing the same thing. We were talking a little bit about it. Uh, I've got a five year old up on skis. Uh, your five year old, uh, also yeah. up on skis. Is, how, is he a good skier? You know, he came, we literally, he did his second time. We went in, in France first, we went to Mammoth. And he came off the mountain after going up on the lift, you know, and my wife timed it there so I'd catch him to say, you know. Yeah. He'd grown like two feet higher in pride, you know. Yeah. Papa! Papa! Smack! Straight in. It's yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no! It's okay! I'm okay, Papa! I'm okay! You know, my wife's French, so she calls, he calls me Papa, which I love rather than Dad. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, little yeah. Papa. I'm gonna... But you settled up for a third, dude. Yeah. We got I'm a third. Feeling inadequate. I was like, I wanted to get a third. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I'm realizing now it's not too late to make her call me Papa. The other two, it's lost. <laughs> It'd be great to have two that call me Dad, and then a little girl who's like Papa. Papa. Yeah. Papa. And then I could always be like, that's why she gets my attention, you two dopes. <laughs> she's charming. It's true. It's true, though, isn't it? It's yeah. Like, yeah. It's something. There's something about when you when your little kid. Comes up a mountain and he's taller and he's pride and yeah and he looks at you and he just wants to let you. Did you see that? You know, and it's you, really great. Yeah. yeah, we. I although I uh, went down with him on on Sunday because he was he's we really you know he can barrel down yeah and we were working on turns and so yeah. we went You're down important he's, yeah yeah very hey, dude come back I can't come <laughs> yeah. up here but he was doing his turns and it was really good and I was filming him as he was doing his turn on the iPhone and then I realized I'm gonna break my neck like that's <laughs> yeah. and he'll always be like this yeah. is the first time I did turns and that's when daddy yeah. went off the yeah, side that's of the daddy mountain. going yeah, to the, yeah. <laughs> that's it that's the last time I ever last time I ever going he's still yep <laughs> yep he's still falling he's still falling still, you know, somebody will find the phone later yeah. on is it like, like yeah. oh god this video started so nice and then yeah um, hey, thank you so much for being here. It's always such a pleasure. Thank Congrats you, on the show. Thank you. Jason Clark, Winning Time premieres March 6th on HBO and streaming on HBO Max.